Sure, they have magnets. But you know what's stronger than magnets? Family. Hey, you can't spell family without, uh, illy. So, when you're here, you're fam, you're, <clears throat> you're, uh, we, everybody here is family. Don't forget it. It's just like Paul Walker, <clears throat> uh, Brian used to say. Family, 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 family. <laughs> what's up, dude? Huh? I said, what's up? Not, uh, not a ton. What's up? You know what I did today? I have no idea. I saw a movie on the, uh, on the really, really big screen. You know what I'm talking about? IMAX? IMAX like 700. Thanks for asking. Keep at it though, buddy. Maybe you'll get there one day. <laughs> Corporations want to speak out against our new restrictive voting laws. So what? We don't need them. We don't need them, dude. Like Delta? Who flies Delta? Uh, not me. No, I'm I'm a big Spirit Airlines guy. Big spearhead for sure. And Coke? Gross. Everyone likes Pepsi more. Coke too. Yeah. <laughs> Pepsi all the way. Coke? More like Noke. Gross. <laughs> and baseball? Who likes baseball? Not me in the rest of the country. America's pastime, more like America's ass times. They're so full of crap. I'll just go to a badminton game or something. Hey, Dad, can we make a Christmas wish? A Christmas wish? You know, a Christmas wish. I'll make a wish, and you make a wish at the same time, and if we wish hard enough, maybe they'll come true. I'm going to wish for Mom to get better. Okay, son. Okay, ready? Did it work? Oh, hell yeah. It's time for the branding. Hell yeah, dude. I don't want the logo. You made business cards. My website is pretty, pretty outdated. Maybe, can we help with that? And I, I, want, I want a cool name to call my fans. Like, uh, like, chew, like uh, chew Toys or, or Chun Tangs, you know? Oh. I like your Suburban. It's nice. Oh, I appreciate it. It's new. My last couple were stolen. Really? Unfortunately so. Whew. More like Law and Order SUV. <laughs> it's Law and Order SVU. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. No, no. I know that. Uh, it was just like a, a car, stolen car joke. I watched the show. It's SVU. Right. Yeah, for sure. And then we sat there silently for the rest of the ride. Ooh, I got it, I got it. Love wins, lasagna slaps. Huh? Could we do like a date night promotion? A like gay rights, Olive Garden nights. Pretty good. Rain bow tie pasta, there's something there. What if we just add a wink, you know? Just like unlimited breadsticks. People will love that. A subtle menu change, that's brilliant. Fettuccine Alfredo, perfect. <gasps> When you're queer, you're family. Right? <laughs> well, I'm promoted? <laughs> Greg, you SOB, thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, AA Ron? What's up? It's from a sketch. So, yeah, no, I've seen it. It's uh, it's uh, Key and Peele. Yeah, have you heard of them? Key and Peele, yeah, I've seen it. You got a phone? I'll just pull it up. I'll show it to you. This video is dedicated to all the Blakes, Jacquelines, Denises, Timothys, and fellow Aarons out there. I see you. I stand with you. It gets better. <laughs> hey there. This is my point. Uh, this is, sorry. This is my impression of Dave Grohl uh, when his wife tells him that she's going to get a boob job done, and he can't. He can't remember how how it works. So he asks her if it's. He doesn't know if it's two appointments, one appointment per boob, or if it's one appointment where you get the pair done. <clears throat> okay? <clears throat> Here goes. Are you getting a breast, a breast, a breast, a breast or two? <clears throat> Thank you. Okay, this is my impression of someone saying they do something infrequently, or how a weird guy might react if you ask if he's ever put his wiener in a Belgian-style wheat beer. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Once in a blue moon. Thank you. Well, looks like the vaccine's here. And I know you're not a doctor, but how about you give me a shot? <laughs>
Pfizer? I hardly know her. <coughs> funny, dude. Funny. I saw some pics of your ex-boyfriends, and uh, no offense, but they've definitely got antibodies. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you get it? Uh, apparently, they keep the vaccine at negative 70 degrees Celsius, but that's perfect for you because you're too hot. <laughs> that will work for sure. Look, I would know. I'm part of the FDA. Female donk anal analyzers. So I just watched the Megan and Harry interview. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> You know what? You actually remind me of Megan. Because you don't need a royal family to know you're a princess. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm sweet. But for real, you deserve a crown. Maybe I can mix it with some ginger ale, could have a nice little nightcap. What do you say, your palace or mine? <laughs> <laughs> that interview is seriously crazy. I was really thrown off. <clears throat> uh, thrown, but T-H-R-O-N-E, thrown. That's one, you, should, you gotta read that one. I'll just text it to you. What's your number, by the way? Look, I'm a William in the streets but a Harry in that interview. Cause I'll have your back. I'm like mad supportive. Everyone says that. <laughs> Oprah's cool, but you know what's even cooler? Oh face. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Unless, no, I'm just kidding. Bad news, I've got COVID-19, but good news, I'm base symptomatic. <laughs> Looks like I was exposed to the coronavirus. <laughs> Wish I could expose myself to you. I might not have my sense of taste and smell, but I still know you're looking like a snack. <laughs> um, you don't have to wear a mask if we're always kissing. <laughs> Hot, dude. Hot. You know, I'm not totally sure if I have the novel coronavirus or I just saw your Instagram because I need to be put on a respirator. <laughs> <coughs> I've got an idea. Just hear me for a second. What if we retired the word cinephile? Huh? We're going to say, hey, that person loves movies. We don't have to call them a cinephile. Unfortunately, pedophiles have the file industry on lockdown, all right? They run that. You can say, oh, I got a new neighbor. They love movies. That's, that's fun. That sounds great. You don't have to say, did you hear a cinephile moved in down the street? Do you hear it? Do you hear it? Apparently, I contracted an STD from Miley. Really? So you're saying you got the Corona Cyrus. Don't post this. It's too late, I've already- Don't post, come on. Oh, it's happening, oh God. Say it. No, just say it. No, say it. No, say it. Well, uh, no, say it. No, say it. No, say it. No, say it. I can't, uh, <laughs> say it. No, say it. No, say it. No, say it. No, say it. Nazis are bad. <gasps> Good job, buddy. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, Scott, do we have any more toilet paper anywhere? I don't know, maybe we're all out because you're so full of shit. I'll check with mom. Okay. <laughs> God. Here's a very COVID specific nightmare that I lived. I was running some errands. I uh, decided I was gonna grab some groceries. So I got in my car, I put my mask on my leg like I normally do. Uh, I pull in the parking deck and send a couple texts, get out of my car, realize I dropped my mask, pick it up, close the door, head inside, put my mask on and go shop. I shop for about 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and when I'm done shopping, I'm in line to check out when I put my hand in my pocket and feel my mask. What is on my face? I picked up, I picked up a stranger's black cloth mask from the parking deck ground and put it on my mouth for a good 30 minutes. Uh, pray for me and remember me, if you will. It's been fun. So it's past midnight. I'm standing on the shore of the Rio Grande. The water is right behind me. I'm down on the Texas border, along with 18 senators. My fellow Americans, Senator Jordan McTonk here from the great state of Michinois. I am currently down here on the U.S. side of the Rio Grande. I am in a bush. I am what George W. always wanted but could never have, uh, a bush boy. Just a joke. We just saw what appeared to be cartel members shining flashlights in our eyes from across the river. Um, Turns out Ted just had his brightness all the way up on his Android while watching MILF porn, but cartel could be around. We don't know, you don't either. Someone from across the river just yelled, you cruise, you lose, and the senator from Texas defecated. We've been here for eight hours and we are running low on Ted's diaper supply, all thanks to the Biden administration. Unbelievable. I saw this today and I am still unsure whether it's just an aggressive way to tell people you have children on board or the funniest pregnancy announcement of all time. I don't know. Hey, uh, Dad? 
I, uh, I don't think I can hang out tonight. I've come down with a bad case of ligma. I bet your mother would still be around if we would have never had you. Ligma balls? <laughs> Jennifer, uh, J-Lo, J -Lo, J -Lo. <clears throat> how's it going? <laughs> I know the press is all over you, so whatever happens, just know I can keep it on the J-Lo down. <laughs> hot, dude, hot. I've seen a few of your movies, yeah. And let's just say I know how to handle an anaconda. I know, I know you know. I've, I saw your movie Anaconda. Uh, good flick. So, A-Rod couldn't keep you around, huh? <laughs> More like a Nimrod. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rodriguez, if you're watching, oh, I was just a joke. I know you take steroids. I, I'm kidding. So, what do you say? Jenny from the block gets with Aaron from the talk? <laughs> Waiting for tonight. <laughs> Nailed it, dude. Nice. Hey. Yeah, you. If you get hit by a car this afternoon, it would ruin my whole day. So how about don't? For me.